Hi there, this is Spencer. Um, I'm just going to give a quick demonstration of ReClick 2.1. Um, this is the zip folder that you should have downloaded. And inside the, um, the zip folder is ReClick. This can be extracted anywhere to the desktop or program files or, or wherever you want. Let's get rid of the zip folder now. Um, and in here there's the readme, the ini file and the executable. Now 2.1 has got like uh, an additional feature, it's got a setup feature. Previously you would enter your, the coordinates of your move sequences here. Um, you still enter them here but it was kind of like guesswork really. Um, like this screen resolution is 1280 by 1024. So I know that the top left hand corner here is 00, zero and the bottom right hand corner down here is 1280 by 1024. But I mean anywhere in the middle, I mean you could like right here for example, you could have a pretty good approximation of where that would be but it would involve a lot of trial and error. Um, and this program is supposed to be helpful not like stumbling in the dark. So what I've done is I've added this little, um, I've added this little set in here called skip setup. Now by default this is, uh, it ships as false, so the, the, when you launch reclick it will go through this little setup process and it's, it's not really a setup I suppose, it's more like a, a helper and what it does, um, it shows the current X and Y position of the cursor so it just helps you um, fill out the INI file for your particular move sequence um, with a bit more ease. If I launch reclick, you'll see the first thing that happens is um, is the version number and the ini file is loaded. You can see you can see skip setup value is set to zero. That's uh, that means that this time we launch in reclick, with the setup is not going to be skipped. But because the setup process is, I suppose, only really for a first time use unless you kept changing your move sequence. Um, that's why that settings there. You can set it to true so that after you've set up your um, your move sequence, you don't have to keep going through this part. Um, set up help. When you press the key defined in the INI file, default F1, although this can be changed, the application will display the current X and Y coordinates of the cursor. This is to help you work out what to put in the INI file for your move sequence, rather than to have to guess the location. To stop the setup process, press the key again. This is the F1 key. To skip this process, uh, setup process next time you wish to use reclick, simply set skip setup key in the INI file to true. This is false this time, but um, you, you may want to change that after you've done it the first time around. So I'm going to press the F1 key, and you can see now that reclick is very helpfully um, looping around and just getting the X and Y coordinate of the cursor. So if I move the cursor to the top left hand corner, it goes to 0, 0. And if I move it to the bottom right hand corner, it goes to 1279 by 1023, which is just one pixel out of my maximum screen resolution. And if I move it anywhere in the middle, it's giving me the, um, the exact pixel location of where my cursor is. So I could, if I, if I for example, wanted my first move to be I don't know where my Mozilla Firefox I shortcut is. I know that for move sequence one, I want the X coordinate to be 30 and the Y coordinate to be 166. So I can set um, 30 in there and 166 in here. Now for the second move, I might want it to be, I don't know, like there for example. Um, or this, it, it, here, I want it to be there. So for move sequence two, I'm going to put in a value of x for six seven one, and for y five five three, and you can and, and so on and so forth. It's just to help you. Um, it's just to help you get the exact location of the x and y um, on your screen. Um, and to stop that, I'm just going to press F one. Um, it now continues with the normal sequence. So whatever you've set up in your ini file for the move sequence. By pressing F1 again, it's going to carry on with its normal regular function. So I press F1, performing move set 1, move set 2, 3, 4. And you can see that my cursor is, um, is moving around and doing what it's supposed to be doing. Now my move set is only looping through 1 to 7 because, let me just, pull, uh, let me just stop that, press F1 again, and you can see that it's stopped. 
my move sequence only goes 1 to 7 because I set move 8, the x coordinates, to minus 1. And if you read the any file, if you set the x or y coordinate of any move sequence to minus 1, then it won't continue past that and it will just loop through the valid ones. Um, anything after minus 1, so like even though 9 would be valid, because 8 is minus 1, it stops there and just goes through 1 to 7. Because you may want less than 10 moves in your sequence, for example. Um, I hope this has helped people. For, for me, I particularly would have used this for the Dark Throne Recruiter, where you've got to click like 350 links time and time after again just to get anywhere in the game. Um, if anyone finds a use for it, has a comment, a suggestion, or anything like that, then um, feel free to hit me up. I hope you enjoy it. Thank you very much for your time.